Hello everybody, thank you so much for joining me and yes Capricorn, yes, it is the third time I'm recording this video, curiously. So, despite the malfunction that I'm suffering today, let's talk about you and the amazing 2024 that is ahead of you and what you can do now to secure your future and to take the most out of this coming year and not to feel so afraid about who you are anymore. So the main reason why things don't work is because you have low self-esteem. Low self-esteem should not be there for Capricorns. You have to get tough and you have to get righteous and be really, really there in front and ahead of other people. In a sense, don't be afraid if you're a little bit cruel, a little bit mean, a little bit aggressive because you basically have to take that uh, shot. You have to make sure that you have as many people as you can possibly manage look at you, feel you, understand you, present your work externally, speak out loud about certain topics. You have to fight for your rights sometimes. And this is one of those years. Don't spend any more time planning, thinking, manicuring, trying hard to make sure things fit. Don't plan any projects if you can. Don't make any uh, big mistakes by basically trying to be inward when it is an outfit, out, sorry, outward, alpha year and there is nothing else you can do um, but be out there. Uh, there is no other point to it. Um, if you cannot be out there, if you cannot present your work or your portfolio, you've wasted your time. Now this is a really hard subject. For example, if you have been enjoying something or even somebody and at the end of the day you're counting your chickens and in 2024 you cannot actually present any of your work or you cannot really say, well, I've actually come a long way. If you don't feel you've come a long way, that is hard, but still be thankful for what you've done and be graceful and respectful and have some self-respect and feel the significance because without that and the significance nothing can be done and yes of course other people may talk or maybe even lie um, there are lots of things happening in the background but try to be there try to make sure that you fit in and in a big year like 2024 sorry prepare yourself for something else. In a sense, nobody knows who you are unless you talk about it. So this means you have to make your portfolio very visible. You have to make your friends very obvious. You have to make sure that you grow past the previous conditions, past your emotions, past your fears, past your sense of inadequacy, which is kind of really, really karmic during this time. It's very, very bad to feel low on yourself, very bad to have low self-esteem during a dragon year and try to no longer make repetitive cycles that don't matter and don't bring you anything in the end anyway. So this means this whole body of energy is all about you. It's about your meanings, it's about your progress, it's about your personality, it's about the respect that you should be having for your previous projects and your previous life experience. And it's just basically about being the masters. You are one of the master signs. You are next to Sagittarius the Sage, you are the older, more, I suppose, expert version of Sagittarius. You are the creme de la creme. You are the top of the sky. You are the 10th house. And yes, you should be bringing it. And you should be making us feel sometimes so shy and so, wow, uh, amazed uh, by who you are and what you're doing. So this means you have to step up. You have to be confident. You have to take care of who you are by making sure that your projects grow, that you get the best seat, they get the best opportunities, that your children go to the best university, best learning facilities. You have to be out there looking for the best because it is the time of the hunter and sometimes of the hunted. So the thing is to be able to be out there and to no longer possess yourself with that personality trait that comes up every now and again saying or wishing Wow, I should have done better. Wow, I should have like studied more. Wow, I don't really have it. I don't have what it takes. You have everything it takes. And if it is not what you want to do, if you don't feel the point of who you are, if you don't really feel the power of your message, give up. So this is a, that's the thing. And how to give up and when. It's like, do I take this further or do I just destroy my projects and take some time off? you know, um, backbench it and eventually come back to the game at a better time. There is no better time than now. So like if you are thinking, when am I going to get the best attention? When am I going to get the best audience? When am I going to be able to step up and get that better job? It is here. It is now. Present your portfolio, make a CV, make a contract, breathe fire, and do it. It is all about high confidence and high velocity. It's all about making it. It's all about bringing it and sometimes being unburdened by your past because you finally said that word, you finally uncovered your secrets and sometimes it is all about having that personality that basically says, well, 
by no mistake did I do this, by no mistake did I feel this, and by no mistake did I connect myself to this yada 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 process. There is a process behind every Capricorn. What you've been doing, what you've been about, where you've been participating, where you've been partying, where you've been going, where you've been studying. And basically all you can do now is to get real and to get relevant about who you are and what it is that you're going to eventually drop into other people's lives. What are you teaching? What are you presenting? What are you showing? Showcase, show off. Do everything you can to get the best seat and make sure you are not carrying that project with you that is silenced. Secrets are so sad this year. Having a secret, having a secret relationship, having a secret humble little home that nobody goes to, having a secret mission that nobody gets to see, for example, drawing incredible picture that nobody gets to look at, being an incredible writer that nobody knows about, please don't be unknown, be noticed, just for your own sake, just for the sake of the group, because everybody's taking notes, everybody's really interested now, because you got this, you got this, you got this, baby, you got this, and you basically got to make sure that you don't make yourself feel small during a time when you should be large and even altruistic. Make sure that everybody knows your name, Go door knocking if that's your style. If it's not your style, uh, spruce up on your marketing. Please understand that some of the time we are carrying such a big block inside of our souls, inside of our hearts, and sometimes it's just like a lot of love, and sometimes it is a lot of ego, and sometimes it's a bit of both. And you've got to basically make it, make it, make it obvious who you are, make it seen what you're doing, what you've been up to these last four or five years, sometimes even six years. You've been working on a project. You've been thinking. You've been uh, doing a lot of uh, research, maybe you've been doing a lot of soul searching, whatever, whatever, however you do, um, you've been soul searching for sure, you've been doing something, just make sure that you have an audience, make sure that you have a stage, you have some kind of a portal, some kind of a container to express it, and then you just basically live your life and forgive that part of you that wants to keep it all together, that doesn't want to share the secrets. And sometimes it is very secretive, it's a secretive sign and it is like that for good reason, but just like share it, show it all and forget it. And sometimes, yes, it will bring you greatness. Sometimes you can make a new career out of this, you can go forward, you become super famous, you can become very successful, very wealthy, very, very quickly, every single day, if you can. Please don't waste your time. Don't stop learning and educating yourself. Just don't put it all in the same basket. Meaning, you're painting a picture that nobody's going to see and you're like working on every detail so much that you forget about who you are and about your soul and about your friends. Try to be there for other people. Yes, okay, fine. Some people are workaholics and they can't stop doing what they're going to do anyway, but please be rich, be successful, be at the top, be at the pinnacle. If there was ever a time to spend your life lavishly, if there was ever a time to go on holiday, if there was ever a time to shake that tail feather, to really show off, to really be there, to boom, it is going to be 2024. If you are not here in 2024, if you cannot compassionately treat your projects or treat you, your personality, if you can't be there for other people, if you cannot evolve anybody else with your previous projects, ideas, or know-how, you will not get there for a while. You will be at turtle pace. Turtle pace. The turtle pace. Capricorn is a hard sight to see. But you see, if you're older now, if you're like 70s and you're 70s, 60s, and you're like wondering, what am I going to get out of it? I am past my alpha phase. There are usually weird and lovely, wonderful things, even by the end of a Capricorn's life, that they want to show off and they want to teach other people and they want to say something about. Maybe it is a religious views. Maybe it is a background of information that you're learning through. Maybe it is books. Maybe it is about movies. Maybe it's about your favorite gurus and teachers. Maybe it is about astral projection. I don't know what you're into. And then basically, without having an audience, without having a say, you will be nothing very quickly, meaning... Nobody knows who you are. Nobody understands how to treat you, how to talk to you. Nobody really wants to call you. People have a party. They don't think of inviting you. They feel uncomfortable. They feel aggressive about you. They don't want you taking part in their scheme. You cannot have that crazy feeling of not knowing how to compete or contend or how to live in the modern world. Walk out there and be brave. Be brave, be brave, because this is probably the only time you get to cleanse your soul. Even if it is a teaching from a history book or from a YouTube channel or from some guru in India, just let other people learn about it. Let it fly, let it be obvious, let it ring through the air. Even if it is embarrassing, just try to understand who you are, 
through that which is on the inside because on the inside is what counts but you have grown you have overgrown and become burdened by the structure or by the conservatism or by just the sheer working process that it took to get you here so there are buildings um, there are landmarks there are big um, opportunities for other people so you've been sculpting a life you've been sculpting career worldview whatever you've been sculpting now other people need to see it or let it go even if it's your body like you've been working out a lot show it off show it off show it off right now so you know that it's done so in a sense it's a big show and tell it is about showcasing and it, it is a bit a mean sometimes you might get aggressive you might have a lot of volatility you might have a lot of vulgar activity with people you might snap somebody at, at somebody or you might uh, be very very angry very karmic for other people so there is a passion there is aggression there is nervousness that's uh, always going to show up and it's going to be emotional it's going to be less and savory sometimes um, occasionally it might be that your inner joys or your inner vulnerabilities take over and then you can't do any more than what you've done but it has to be said and it has to be said right. It is about expansion, expression. It's about being serendipitous. It's about being willing to learn a new game, which is a social cycle. Aquarius is a sign after you. So you're becoming more like Aquarius with time. In a sense, Aquarian energy is about society. It's about the social schemes. It's about the nervous system of the world. And just keep on playing the game. Keep on playing, playing your instrument, playing with people, playing with each other, participating, trying to work out a way to get your burdens and your hardship and all these projects and ideas and philosophies out there so you don't feel like you're aging and crumbling and kind of turning into like a little like a little creature during 2024 being the underdog being the nerd being the unwelcome guest the creature the golem during 2024 is not something that you want to do so basically all of that which you've done put it out there be okay about it being a little bit nerve-wracking. Be fine about somebody not respecting you because, you know, actually very doubtful. Because, come what may, um, this particular year is definitely going to take you by storm or other people by storm. They want to learn. They want to dance. There's a lot of eyes and ears open. Very, very interested people will come to you. Very, very, very cool, very conservative, but also very, very calm and quiet people will come to you and listen to whatever you have to say, which is great. So if you are struggling, if you are like, I don't know how to get my business off the ground. I don't know how to make this happen. I don't know how to buy this house. I don't know how to make my family happy. I don't really understand what to do with my life. If you had a lot of questions all your life, this is the time. You have to turn up the volume, take the microphone and say whatever you're going to say and there is no karma. So you basically have to share and deliver people from that doubt and the dubiousness that sometimes they have about you or other people in the game. They're like, I don't know how to really talk to this person. Don't let other people feel shy around you because there's a lot of anger probably and quite a lot of passion inside a Capricorn. Even if they're very, very neat and tidy and they're always smiling and they're always looking very careful, there are going to be other lives made on top of what you've made. So basically it's like a burden. It's like 10 of ones in a tarot deck. It's like you're carrying all these different projects and thoughts and feelings. You just got to put these things down and show everybody, look at me, look at me, this is who I am. So basically all you've got to do is be powerful, kind, and maybe very rich by the end of the year. So if you can imagine, it's about climbing that hill real quick every single day, every single day. Sorry, it's a bit too much power, too much stress, too much pressure, too much passion. Yeah, probably for some people, if you've been conditioned not to be open, if you've been conditioned to coil in, try to breathe, try to extend yourself, try to use that passion and power and hospitality that people might be joyfully offering you uh, in your nearby life and also in certain commercial structures and certain um, work-based relationships and universities, you know, in society and groups, try to be open. And then through that, you create more velocity, try to make more and more friends everywhere you go, try to talk about yourself, try to present to people who you are and how far you've come in your life, try to make also other people feel open to share and maybe also present new opportunities. So it's just about having a nice, strong, growth and very very healthy background and feeling that you've done it and uh, each and every time you have an opportunity you have an option take it so it's kind of like okay uh, it's the life of a strategist for the first few months definitely 
the more you can get out there, the better. The more you can market who you are, the better. The bigger is the group of people that belongs with you. The larger is your tribe or tribes, the better, the better, the better. And just have more respect for yourself. Have respect for yourself and don't go low. Go a little bit higher than you even think that you deserve. So this is basically like the game plan. It's very alpha. It's very sporty. It's very much about getting ahead, of getting rid of that trauma, getting rid of a drama. Somebody said my work was not good. I don't really know if I can handle it. It doesn't even matter. It never mattered. Even if you're drawing stick figures, there's going to be somebody that loves it. And there are going to be many people um, that are going to be finding worth in you. Finding worth in you, finding trust in who you are. So maybe in five or six months, some people expand so far, they can get their career flying high, even though it was at a turtle pace, at a snail pace the years before. They can get their journey together. They can get their money together. They can get their community together. They can feel that wind beneath their wings. The more people are involved, the greater the velocity and the happiness, maybe for some Capricorns. The more popular you feel, the greater the outcome and the income and such. So... It's not just about that. It's also about dangers. And yes, I do understand that sometimes you will have a burnout. And it is very likely to have a burnout of your batteries. Now, how come this is going to happen? Depends on the person, on the individual. In the cycle, maybe uh, April, May, June, uh, maybe even earlier, March, April, May, uh, there's going to be some people losing their light. There's going to be people like, I can't handle this anymore. I produced a brand and no matter how far I've taken it and no matter how many people said that they like it nothing moved nothing's doing nothing it never mattered if you aren't happy with your progress if you're not happy with your soul and the external expression of you through your projects or through your ideas or through your uh, growth okay as Capricorn is 10th house 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 of growth and uh, progress if you don't wish to do what you're doing and if you're tired and if you're burdened and if it is burdensome to other people it will have to end so here is the thing now this is hardcore in May for sure many projects will just flop and no matter how much you teach it no matter how much you drive it no matter how much you push it it's not gonna go nowhere and you have to relax and see it now Okay, cool. I took the chance January, February, March. I did all I could to make it grow. I've made it. I've made it. So maybe like I made more friends than normal. I had some opportunities. I put my work into a YouTube channel. I put my ideas into an online portfolio. And here's the thing, the huge, giant, crazy demise for some Capricorns happening in May, around about, where you don't need it anymore. So stop the game. But my whole future relied on it. But Polina, you told me to open my soul, open my heart and let people see what's inside. Yeah. And here is when you get it. Okay, I don't have enough velocity. I don't have enough strength. I don't have enough connection. There is limits, limits. There are limits and people don't want to see me. They don't want to hear it. I, I don't get it. And now this is like where Capricorn has to slow down. Understand nature. Nature and natural momentum, if you can't do it, if you have no audience, if nobody's buying your product, and by this limit stage of about uh, March, May, maybe April, there is nothing left of it. That can also happen. You put your project out there, somebody breaks it, something happens, some really unlucky bothersome thing can happen, like say you got a flight somewhere to present your work, the flight cancels, you don't even get a refund, you don't understand how it's going to do it. Uh, people are not uh, hearing you, you're calling somebody, you're getting no answer, or you're getting an answer from somebody. Like, this is where you're fighting for, I suppose, your soul or yourself or your expression in the world. This is where you are fighting for your dream. If you don't hear anything back, if you have no answer, and especially if it crumbles, like, for example, you built a house and suddenly there is an earthquake and it just crumbles by May, respect it. Respect the universe, respect the keys that you've been given, the things that you've learned and make sure you get yourself, you know, a place, you get yourself um, some time and here's when you have to re really recognize if nothing works by May, you, you can't keep on going. You can't keep on going. 
So this means that even the biggest, high-flying, most extensive and incredible possibilities, yeah, they can also rot if it is rotting. So this is the actual changeover. March is the start of the new year in Aries. And that's where we get a huge burst of nature. And if that burst of light that happens March, April, May, if that burst of light collapsed your project, or it has ruined your energy, or it has, sorry about the cars outside, it, it has disjointed your power, your potential. You have a universal, I suppose, answer. The universe is answering you and it says, look, um, I got it, you're good at this and you like it, but you, you won't do, do this past this point. Now, the thing is to play it by ear. Sometimes nature is like this. It's either trickling, everything is like beautiful and sparkly, you get a lot of synchronicities, you get a lot of clients, you get a lot of information, you get things happening, and you understand that you are doing something that is feeding you back. And this is a game, this is a game, this is joyful, and this makes you understand things, this makes you feel good about who you are, the legacy is built and the future is shown. So yeah, definitely. And then we have six months till October. If you don't have the trickling yet, if you don't feel like everything is beautiful, like say, it's exchange of halves, like I call this person, they call somebody else, they call somebody else, I have a beautiful wisdom to share, I have a dream to share, and it's growing, growing, growing. Every five or six months, you need to have a very big hop in your project or it just can't do itself. Some of the time, people are kind of okay and they're aware that they're in a niche level and they won't work past that level, which is okay, but are you satisfied? Do you get enough? Are you paid? Well, do you have enough time for yourself? Are you feeling wealthy, healthy, successful? Well, yeah, so please nurture yourselves. If you don't feel it's going anywhere, and no matter how much you do, how, how, how far you've come, it won't change. You have to take a breath, bring yourself back, and come May, and you see the potential either plummeting or rising up. If you don't have anything to show for it, if your body cannot produce any more light, if you've lost your time, if you've been like, for example, in a car accident and you had some kind of karma or the money just gone, you need to relax, calm down, sleep it off, sleep it off, at least for a week or two, even if it's a very powerful year. And I'm saying to you, like people really can't afford to miss out on some opportunities, some crystalline opportunities that are happening in 2024. If you cannot sleep it off, I'm so sorry. Sometimes people are burdened by work and family and other commitments. But then here's the thing, make yourself a window to at least have some time. You have to change your light. You have to change your frequency. So you have to change the way that your soul is working with this lifetime. And that's really, really, really scary sometimes for people to understand, well, uh, my idea has come to an end or something crashed or just broke down. If you don't want it, sometimes it will not flow. Sometimes we love a project for what it gives. It gives attention and money and charisma. But when we actually think about what we want, we're like, wow, I'm actually really, really broken and I really don't like this job. If you don't want to do something, it is going to emit a certain feeling and you don't necessarily need to listen to me. But when it comes to a job that also gives you depression, please stay aware of it. Stay awake and maybe try to work yourself out of any kind of any kind of constitution that you signed with yourself that makes sense only if you work so very hard and make so much, you know, so it's just difficult. It's about jobs and it's about employment. It's about just like the drudgery of everyday life. And if you can't be there for yourself, if you cannot make it through, if you cannot make it happy, if you cannot make it happen, you have to leave it alone. And eventually we have October, mm, suddenly. Okay, by October's end, you may now need to really think, what did I do? What did I accomplish? What did I make of it? How many people showed up to my uh, idea? Where am I employed? Who is the person next to me? Is it looking comfortable? Is it looking epic? Am I happy? Am I proud of everybody in the game? Do I feel grateful for what I've done so far in my life? It's a huge question. So there's these two question marks, come May and come October, huge question marks for Capricorn. Did you do good? Is this really worth it? Are you happy with the path you're taking? Are you happy with where you're putting your soul energy and your frequency? Are you happy with the projects that you're choosing for yourself? And do you feel loved? Yeah, suddenly, do you feel loved? Love? Yeah, do you feel loved for what you do? Do you feel loved just by the way that you are, by how energy fluctuates and how much you can make? Uh, maybe it's about Yukigai. Maybe it's about just having um, 
a lifetime of really, really sweet and powerful energies and people supporting you. Maybe it's about having a plush, uh, universal life. So we're going into that Aquarius energy. We're going into full rainbow. So it's like, are you happy? Are you trendy? Are you young? Are you feeling free? Are you feeling funky? Are you feeling full of light? And if you can't do that yet by October the end, I'm sorry, try to walk out of that, which is like, oh, painful. It's like the 10 of wands. I'm carrying the world on my shoulders and I'm going to try and make it. Try to make sure also that you have some kind of bounce and relax about it. Some people might not like what you do. Try to be cool about it. If it's not funky, fresh and funny, if it's not vibrant, if it's not all the colors that you want to see in your life, it won't go that far and it will never help you. So in a sense, I do definitely feel like, yeah, I can relax about it. Sometimes we take projects that our parents couldn't do. You know, sometimes, for example, like say my mother was an esoteric buff um, without really knowing how to form her own thought patterns. And then I made it as an esoteric teacher. But that took me ages, you know. So that's the thing. It's like, in a sense, um, you might take on a parent's career. So my father was a jeweler. Then now I'm making this art and it's kind of old for me. It's like old fashioned now. It's like, you know, bring me down to size also, you know. So also overcooked ideas, overstimulated ideas, you know. So for example, it's like making a food. In a sense, like say, if you cook a lot and you love it, you know what I mean when you like over boil or over fry your vegetables and it's just not tasty anymore. It's kind of like one of those things. So it's kind of like an over fried, overcooked overspoken, over emitted reality, which doesn't actually provide any more magic to anything or anybody. So you've got to keep it bubbly, you've got to keep it fresh, you've got to like play with life. So it's not just about like, say, I'm going to make this business, I'm going to make sure that I'm like ahead of the game. You know, this is really also quite nice and quite sexy for Scorpios and for Capricorns alike. All those higher signs, like say Sagittarius as well, and to some degree Aquarius, you know, like if you are really, really doing it and even beyond your means, you're making it and you're making it out of one dimension and you're going to the higher dimensions. It's just, I don't know, it's, it's like a fight. You know, do you come from a corporate system? Are you working for the corporate world? You know, it's like it's kind of fighting, fighting through. And no matter what, even if it is kind of like two-faced and you have to present yourself in front of people that are not really real people, like, for example, if you work for a political party or organization, my gosh, it's so boring. Sure. By October, you see the full spectrum of it. Okay. See, it's like a little bit, it's, it's, it's a little bit sad, you know. Ooh. Now, what could be sad? And the sadness is because some people have come so far and they've done so much and they still don't feel very important. And sometimes it's because it's nothing to do with their heart or their world. They've just been copying other people and trying to do the best that they can. Uh, to provide support or to provide a kind of like a trickling business or be there in the background and it just sucks so the world wants you to be unafraid of yourself the world wants you to be as confident bright pure and epic as you can be this year the protagonist in a sense has to come out for every single sign during this time if you can try to be strong try to be selfish get selfish uh, maybe even get jealous of other people, just something that will push you to really feel how you feel and to speak what you really want to speak and to do exactly what you want to do and create what you really want to create. So it's not just about like my corporate job that my daddy wanted me to have. It's not just this unless you really love the corporate world. And I know very few, but very lucky people that love the corporate world. There is definitely a gene for that. So never mind. Let's talk about what happens after October. So as you reach October's end, you might tell me maybe also like what you're about. So in a sense, you can see a flowering. You can see the full potential. You can see a full growth. You can feel a really, really beautiful respect maybe for yourself and other people in the game. You might be able to understand where you really, really fit in in the world and what you now have to be a part of or what you now have to do. You might be able to see your joys. You might be able to uh, commemorate your children or your elders on what they're doing. You might be very happy. So at the end of October, the idea is to be happy, to have a big, bustling, full, unlimited world and to have it flying in full color and feeling absolutely amazed by your life results. What? Really? All of that today? Yes, 2024. Of course, it's the alpha year. This is the only one you get. Also, horse year is pretty good. The year of fire horse is going to be a big, really juicy year for you, but it's going to come in 2026. So now you don't really have maybe much time to improve on that. 
meaning you have to just show what you've got. So by the end of 2023, you've got a package, show that package, show it, show it, show it, show it, and make friends, make friends, make fun, make life happen. Strategize, you can implant ideas, you can push people to help you, you can even pay somebody to help you, you know, you can make friends, yeah, drive this thing. And 2025, eventually, that's where you really take it. You really take it to that next level. But in 2025, we have snake. So at the end of 2024, by the end of October, things get put down or they get put back. So you have this huge velocity. You have this huge vibration. You have this mega, mega, mega life. Maybe you have a very, very altruistic, super color fragilistic type of reality. I don't know the, the full word of that. Uh, then inevitably you need to make it fine by the end of 2024. And yes, snake here is just about putting all of that anger and energy and agility into a very simple slide. So what I mean is, it's kind of like making a herbarium. If you know what a herbarium is, it's like collecting the most beautiful plants and flowers that you can possibly find. And then putting them between the pages of a book, drying out these flowers and eventually putting them on a piece of paper. It's like a flower arrangement. It's kind of like a 2D flower arrangement, if you could imagine, like a flat flower arrangement. And they will put them into like little frames and, you know, in a sense it basically... It's like immortalizes nature. So what you basically have here is something kind of un uncomfortable. In a sense, it's like a giant vial, giant world of energy and potential and love and cultivation and memories and energy, 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 <laughs> sorry, and people and folks that help you and folks that love you and folks that are open to you. It's like a huge giant world the dragon year, and eventually it funnels down into something very flat. So for example, you've put in all this energy and time, and at the end you just get a thank you letter. Thank you so much. Or you get a noble prize. Or maybe you get a nice bank account. And it's very flat, it's very cold. And it's also very lucky for you. So if you can imagine, all this energy and time gets compressed into a very simple thing, like a photograph, like a scan like a document, like a degree, like a uh, place in a company, like a very, very simple way of life. It's very compressed. So snake starts a little cold for you guys, and it's a little unfeeling. But if you could imagine, that's kind of where you're going. So all this energy, time, and attention eventually transfers into some money. That's okay, right? For some people, absolutely okay. Uh, all this energy and attention to detail, all the social work, eventually lands you a better place in the company. Great. So in the end, in a sense, in a sense, you have a quiet time by the end of the year, and Snake will see you through and help you drip by drip like a surgeon to get it right and to correct yourself and try to be more than just a memory. So it's not just about splurging all that light It's about legacy and it's about bringing yourself back to one piece eventually and it's about also survival even if you work for like 40 years at a company even if you are a great professional even if you are a great educator or teacher you know you have to still retain your evergreen meaning you still have to retain your life force and you still have to be sustainable and very well sustained by snake because it's going to be all about sustenance inevitably by the end of the year. Thank you very much Capricorn. Have a look at the caption section below. Have a look at my book, my website. Uh, also, yes, I do art stuff. And of course, uh, you're welcome to get a reading with me. Come what may, I'll be here probably for quite a long time. So yes, visit my channel, subscribe to my Patreon, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.